There's great inequality when it comes to the rights of young people in our society. As we travel around the country, it's so stark. If you have a very low income school with a lot of kids of color, they're not going to have a whole lot of rights. First of all, they probably won't have a journalism program. They won't have a newspaper. Um, there's much higher uh, likelihood that they'll be wearing uniforms. are speaking up about digital democracy. A young man told me recently that that's his issue, to you know, keep the web free and open to everyone so that everyone has access to it. Um, other people are standing up about students having a say in their curriculum. There's a young woman I met in Maryland who's running for the school board because they have one student representative who actually gets to vote. It's the only county, I believe, in the US where a student has a vote on the school board. So, I mean, students are speaking up and, and using their voices, but they also um, are speaking up about having a say about the policies and, and laws in our culture. So that's when it really goes the next step. I really feel that, that young people in particular, uh, they know that things cannot go on as they are. You know, I mean, you, you can pick whatever problem, you know, the, the, the economy, you know, the environment, whatever it is, um, things have to change. And they know that. And, and young people have the most vested interest in, in bringing that change about. been telling Mary Beth's story, uh, you know, probably more than Mary Beth was telling her story at the time, you know, as a, as a First Amendment attorney that works specifically with students, um, it all starts um, with her story. I mean, that's where the law started in this country um, in terms of First Amendment protection for students. And so, you know, I'm out there telling her story all the time. Kind of inspiring them. I mean, you know, her story is—it's a—it's an inspirational story. I mean, I, my favorite part of her story is when you know she talks about just how shy she was. Um, you know, how she you know loved to to go roller skating on the weekends, and you know she had to study for her math test, but she was always surrounded by all these brave people. Um, and when her time to to act came up, and her story really was you know just a few hours on one day. Um, that was the courage that she needed to muster. The problems are, are enormous, you know, where do you start? Uh, but thankfully we live in a time where the tools are also, you know, pretty amazing. And so we, we, we need students using these powerful tools, you know, to, to, to address some of these problems. Because as I tell kids, you know, we started our country, our great democracy, with slaves building the White House and building the Capitol, and that's where we're coming from. So that's why young people all through history have used their great imagination and their great energy and creativity and taken us forward because we needed to go forward to, to reach our ideals, and we still do today. A lot of young people you know, have the idea of where we are going forward and it's a, towards a place of peace and equality and, and justice and that's where we need to go and that's why we need young people. We're not there yet but we're going in that direction and as more young people are able to use their rights then we'll be able to really implement those ideas and, and benefit from the views of, of young people.